Are you clapping? All right. Two things very quickly before you take your seat. I want everybody to take your phone and then go to uh, Paul Daniels on Facebook or Apostle Paul Daniels on Facebook or uh, Bertram or TCBC Bertram uh, on Facebook. Copy the link on YouTube. It's a training. It's a training. When you see all these other ministries, they come on and people share and share. Whether you like it or not, they share it by force to you. It's a training. They have tra it, it didn't happen automatically. They have trained the people until they have gotten used to it. You know, sometimes it's so sad that your church is having an event or a service and you refuse to share it and share in other ministries to your church platform. Sometimes it's so sad. I don't know chocolate drink. Hallelujah. Well, I bring greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want to thank God for this August congregation. We give God the glory for the lives of everybody. Say amen. Oh, come on, clap your hands. This is a beautiful church. This is an awesome ministry. I bless God for everyone that is here. Yeah, what an, what an awesome vision. What a leadership. Uh, we will all want to salute the life of... Um, the anointed apostle, the only Ghanaian rabbi, we give God the glory for your life. We thank God for you and your beautiful wife uh, for the great work you are doing in this city. Um, you make ministry beautiful. You have taken the ministry to another dimension. Rabbi, thank you. God bless you. Anybody who comes to your space is that you know, affected or influenced by your great inspiring leadership. I thank God for your life. Amen. Let me also honor God for the Archbishop. I salute you, Papa, for your love. Thank you for your great leadership. We thank you for this awesome apostle. Thank you, sir. The Lord bless you for your training and everything, your impartation. God bless you richly. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Reverend Gabriel and Sam have shown some love. I have not seen this one. Ah, come on with me. Who be that? No, I'm, I'm confused. Now, nah, this one, I'm confused. Wow. Now, nah, this one is on another level. I, I can't understand this one. I'm learning. I'm learning. Thank you so very much. Club for the Chancellor. Today I came with my Didi. Did he come and say hello? Just one minute and no, one second. Hello and go and take a seat. Are you clapping? This is my so many toffee. Praise the Lord, family. It is good to be here tonight. And I know tonight God will bless us. God bless you. Hallelujah. Last time we came with a couple of our pastors. Tonight also, they are here. I would love to appreciate them. You can see Pastor Rich, Pastor Paul, Pastor Ferdinand, Pastor Samson, uh, Pastor Komi, Pastor Bright. I can see George. I can see Sylvester. You may be seated and uh, allow me to work. You already seated, so I wouldn't want to disturb your flow. First Peter chapter number three, I will want to build from there tonight. I will also want to salute all the association of pastors and their spouses in the house, the team of ministry, all our friends who have joined us from around the world. We want to thank God for all of you. Thank you very much in Jesus' precious name. The Bible said in First Peter, the third, First Peter chapter three, verse number one. The Bible said, likewise ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, that 
that they also without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. I'm not preaching about marriage. I'm just borrowing a synopsis or a concept from this particular passage to, to flow. And the Bible said in verse number two, while they behold their chaste conversation coupled with fear, this is how he submitted it in this particular version. I will use the opportunity to read maybe a couple of versions of the same thing. First Peter chapter 3 and uh, verse number 1 in uh, the NIV said, Wives, in the same way, submit yourselves to your own husbands so that if any of them do not believe the word, they may be won over without words by the behavior of the wives when they see the purity and reverence of your lives. Very interesting of your lives. Very, very interesting. I would love to, maybe in the message version of the Bible and maybe in the good news version of the Bible from verse number one, whoever is helping me on the projection, I would love if you have any of those versions. If not, I will read. Nice, nice. The Bible said, the same goes to you, wives. Be good wives to your husbands, responsive to their needs. There are husbands who who indifferent, who indifferent, yeah, as they are to any words without words about God will be captivated. I, I don't know if I read it all right. Uh, by your your life of holy beauty. I like that. Okay, GNT, and then we are through to go. In the GNT version, it, good, good. In the same way, you wives must submit yourselves to your own husbands so that if any of them do not believe God's word, your conduct will win them over uh, to believe. It will not be necessary for any of you to say a word. And then he said, because they will see how pure and reverent your conduct is. In my language, the Bible made a submission in here in the word of the Lord. Let me allow me to read this. Um, and then he goes further and he says, And then he goes further and says, that means that the preacher is preaching and the whole objective and the essence of the preaching is to, you know, transform or win over the soul unto God. But he is saying here that the has the power to be able to win over somebody. And then in verse number two, the Bible said, so uh, Beshema May the Lord bless the reading of his word. I looked at this particular verse of scripture. Like I said, I'm not limiting it to wives. This is not some awesome conference. And uh, I am, uh, you know, building up on what Reverend Gabriel Anza started on Monday and what we went on with on uh, yesterday night. And then when I look at this particular cause very well, he is trying to make a submission in the word of the Lord that the character of the wives should be a Bible, that some, the only Bible that somebody is reading. In other words, if I preach and sweat and perspire, if I stand on the, I stand on the sun by the roadside, by the marketplace in the ghettos and preach the heart of God vehemently and people do not even want to listen to what I'm saying. The Bible is making a stroke that when they look at the character of the wives and the husbands, since I'm building a concept, they should be able to see what the preacher is trying to say. In other words, when we look at 
the life of the wife, we should see Genesis and Exodus and Leviticus and Numbers and Deuteronomy. We should go ahead and see, you know, uh, the book of uh, Joshua and Judges and uh, go further and see first, uh, first, uh, second uh, Samuel, first, second Kings, first, second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, and uh, go ahead to the 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 books of the songs of you know uh, the songs of Israel, the songs of Solomon, and go to the Proverbs and to the book of Ecclesiastes. When we look at the character of the wives, we have to see Isaiah, any Jeremiah, any you know Daniel, any Jeremiah Quatrum, and then go ahead and see the life of the prophets in the Bible. I won't say minor major prophets. The, the prophets in the Bible, they should be able to, when they look at your character, to see Matthew and Merku and Luca and Yohani and Asuma for the Numa and Roman for and Numa. We should be able to see the Yatawa Samoa. It is not some kind of some kind of you know theoret theoretical entreaties or some kind of you know a collection of essays of whatsoever. We should be able to see you know out of your life we must derive yeah the book of Ephesians and, and the book of uh, Corinthians first second Corinthians Ephesians Galatians Philippians you know Thessalonians we should be able to see yeah the first second book of Thessalonians in you we should be able to look directly into you and look at the book of Titus and uh, Timotheus and go to Hebrews and the rest of them until we come to the place of revelation. Everybody that is seated here, your life comes to a conclusion and a, a summation and a collection that when you may have some and what they mean, well, the Bible said what they have from Dottie and the mini in the Nipano or Home and Pahomi Kuni Muma Nipano and the Ewokira Tiasa for the breath of God that came out of God was the Ruach of God or the Nafish of God that came into the person. Ladies and gentlemen, I came tonight to build upon something because so many people feel like when you are in a church and you are born again, the only thing that we are thinking about is to go to heaven. I have heard the rabbi stand here in one of the preaching and said, if the only thing is to be saved and go to heaven, then Fast, fast, fast. Don't waste time. Save to go to heaven. Jesus said you are the salt of the earth. The light of the world. The church is a training camp. This is a place where people come to be trained. Matthew chapter 28 verse number 19. Jesus said very powerfully. He made a submission in that particular place. He said all power has been given unto me in the heaven and the earth. Go ye therefore and make all nations. You know my disciples. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Teaching them. Go and teach them. Everything that I have commanded you and yet Yes, I am with you, even unto the end of the world. In other words, you come here to be taught. You come to receive your marching orders. You come to receive your instruction. Every manual, you know, comes with a product. These keyboards came with manuals. These drums came with manuals. These speakers came with manuals. This crane came with manuals. The reason is because by the time it comes up, it is not in a finished product. Crane so he made a very he give a key word in the word of the Lord Acts chapter 5 verse number 20 he said go and stand in the temple and teach the people all the words of this life that means uh, the words of this life is not just going to heaven 
if if he was talking only about eternal life, John 6, 66, 67, and 68, when I was down, when I was down, 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 if he was talking only about that, then he wouldn't have said, he, he wouldn't have said, this words of this life, this life, words of this life, just like Isaiah prophesied, your word is unto me precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Look for the scripture for me. Line upon line, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. Precept upon precept, precept upon precept. Line upon line, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. I will quote it the last time and then I will push the revelation of tonight. Precept upon precept, precept. He repeats it. It's as if, you know, uh, it's a contradiction. But no, the prophet is making a prophetic submission. Precept upon precept, precept upon precept. Line upon line, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. This concept is the concept that drives the church. Say, say, the Bible tells us on the moa. Ni panwa wate hano, wa wadi e ohu e se sofun kanjiren. Onso kasa. Enedi enu obeka. This is why we pick and choose. When we line up preachers for a conference like Wassam, we pick and choose. Okay, me persofu we me pe we. We dey me share the name ne papa. Me name the other beba. No, Sweden no. We be anywhere. We are bafra. I will pick it from yesterday's message. When you were Napoleon, a child, and you were still growing up, listen to me, my darling. When you were still growing up, you know, yeah, what Tesano Bangalore's more, you know, they can say, Karen, come and eat your cereal. Like, Karen, come on, Karen, come on, Karen. Be one of the second Karen says, I won't eat, ma'am, I won't eat, ma'am. No, Janet, around the house, and mommy will be chasing Karen. We are Karen, I know, you see, from say, no. It is a mean save you know because one paid to you. But Uba Zungu Muhawa Bekane Fadama Honua. There is no need for current baby. Uh huh. Kuntunkuli need in a bashan motuum. Nakwabrania son in a me, you know. They are buying a numa restro. They are hunu kukunu like this. They are being a numi a jagum who go like long, 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 by the time I be jano no, unanti I was a be ma bana ekono. Be ma bana ekono. All my pastors come, come, come up stage. Let's do something very quickly. Climb up here, line up here. Like one straight line facing here. Face here. Follow him nicely. Stretch out. Like arm forward stretch nicely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You fit my revelation perfectly. Will be a bear born again when Yamba Baba Tene Yamifi Yetan when Yamia Samoa and Yagalabashada and Kwa. Because I have come to a realization that most of us we make noise without any impact. I'm telling you, and I do me pursue TM Yepa. Many churches make a lot of noise. Tell me where their fruits are. Fruits. Where are your fruits? Fruits. Therefore, when the word is disseminated, the Bible said he sent forth his word and healed them. Once he releases the word, the word goes to do, at least there are seven. So let me at least not go beyond seven. Seven dimensions. The first dimension is Pastor Richard. <laughs> 
The Bible said very clearly, Second Timothy chapter three and verse number fifteen. Ufri umofra se na wini machere kron kronoa e ma wunu nyansa e fa Kristo Yesu jidi Yesu. So what some wenyamia some no e be tena Kristo Yesu you know Kristo ni abra bumoa. The first thing is the power of wisdom. This one, power of wisdom. When to me your Christo ni your Jimmy for. You can't serve this Christ and be a fool. Last, last year, our team, our bishop, was Suronyame. This year, the team is Bateurade. The reason is because Christo Noah was so no no yansa. And to me, my son, what to batabe tenan kray, huh? And to will be chamber and hall for 30 years. And you have no plan. Me person, na do you tear some nibi, tear some nibi. Wouldn't ye? Wouldn't ye say? Ye be a speaker to me, wouldn't ye say? Tear! The power of wisdom. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 is in alignment here. Proverbs 1 7, the Bible said, you know, Proverbs 1 7, the Bible said, the the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, but fools, they despise wisdom and instruction. The moment the person becomes born again, the Holy Ghost lives in the person, the power of wisdom is at work. This is why the Bible said, if any man wants wisdom, they should go to the priest's mouth and they will find knowledge. Yeah, in the Malachi chapter number two, he was building on something in the word of the law. When he got to the verse number seven, he said, because the preacher, the man of God, is an angel of the Lord. And the Bible said, they will seek the law from his mouth. Yeah, because he is an angel or a messenger of God. And then in the verse number 8, the Bible said, For the priest's lips should, uh, you know, knowledge. And the Bible said, go back to, you know, the previous verse. Yeah, the pre yeah, and they, they should find it from his mouth. And then in the next verse, he made very uh, submission. Yeah, but uh, you have departed from uh, the way, out of the way. You know, so he was making this also clear in Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse number 15. I will give you pastors according to my own heart and they will feed you with the knowledge and understanding. He goes... I'm not talking about Rabbi Numu, Reverend Gabriel and Sanumu. You are a chosen generation. Yeah, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people, a chosen people, a people set apart for the master. I'm talking about you. Yeah, first Peter chapter 2, verse number 9. You are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. You are a peculiar people. You are a holy nation. Yeah, I'm talking about to you. Yeah, I'm talking about Revelation chapter 1 and verse number 6. Why yeah 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 he may and he has suffered. Why yeah 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 he and he has suffered. Who tia? We are suffer. Me nim suffer. De biya wa pa kwa njire bi fadi bi so me mama so yeah eh 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 suffer. Se siya. Nane yura aboto. Wake up! We are growing into booms. Wisdom! Is here, and when I say wisdom, I'm not talking about theoretical wisdom. We are Wabani and Yamu Baku, Nikuno, Yamu, and Nikuno, as I say, we see in Yansa. She was supreme. Hey, may I cast my Uja with Yaku? I'm a baby cast a match of Uja with Yaku. We were just saying, we were just saying, they can't so much. They were just saying, the power of wisdom. To your castle, when you're mere semuti, you'll be more. You perceive a castle in your minions, a team. Number one. Number two. Exodus chapter number 31. 
and verse number one to three. The Bible makes a very solid submission here. Exodus chapter number 31. Go to verse, 30, uh, verse 2. Let me see exactly what the word of the Lord said. The Bible said, I have called Bezaleel, the son of Ori, the son of Hor, from the tribe of Judah. And the Bible said, and I have filled him. Can you turn this into the Jewish Bible uh, if you have it? This particular verse, you don't. The Bible said, Now, Meji Oriba Judaba Bezaleel, now, Mama, now, Jenny, who do say one thing. The Bible didn't say, Mama, now, Jenny, no, Mama, now, Jenny, who do so on fine, you know. Bezalia was into all the skills, you know, skill of woodwork, skill of craftswork, skill of gold, skill in brass, in bronze, in iron, and all that. Bezalia is the one that designed and built the tabernacle. It was Bezalia that, you know, decorated the whole tabernacle. If you look at, you know, the tent of worship, Bezalia was the person. It, we, the power of wisdom. Now you come to the power of bright thinking. Reverend Gabriel Anza, I'm telling you, one of the things that the church is lacking. When I come here, I see that unique thing. Thinking. Planning. Budgeting. Staffing. Prioritizing. That kind of thing. This is why you tell me quite sorry, Kodia Quanchere. Rawdros, Mammy Fasa Punyaro, a dental race. I ya. You besides, sir, a quanchera no, a ma, Womodiana, Mamma, Mosse Debi, Yet I you jaribum, Nam Simonco, Sunyarimum. Taponi, I say, was a support of fifty Ghana. Nam say, Robert, dear Nibiana, say, a year coacher, or si coacher. I'm so kwami atom kocha 50 cities ya mao. A kwanchira semina near the amano. Real say ya near jare mani me ma boom. In the name of a kwanchira. A jiri! I would do. Me bad demo ha mi huna jinya hudu at work. When I come here, I see a jinya hudu. There is a bezalio here. I'm telling you. There is a Bezalio here. Who can sorry be in so I'll be quite caught to and ten ten ye, we ye, we ye, and all that. We don't suffer baby, if he, if he, if he, but whatever be ten fini more sorry, I would have been. Make us as a sea that sense you be mukase. Ye din kun kun te wo mu bear five days. But me show make up wa wa ye. Ya would the te dem ha me to me wunu se. Serious because it here was here. Tia, when you saw a jay, when you saw a jay, this is wisdom. This is our junior hotel. Number two, number three, everybody that comes into that particular realm. You know, <laughs> comes to the power of excellence. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40. This is the power of excellence. Christo Nibia wonia maya saka to asamin to mo. No. No. You see. When some question, she did be bep free mu, one mudu kwa ko hell, we shed trousers, our ko hell, we make up our ko hell. I told them, hey, mom for me, I'm going to go. Back off with your nonsense. Friends, I'm going to go to Even in Israel, there are tribes. In Christianity, we have our own tribes. The denominations are tribes. In Christianity, Presbyterian, I was saying almost some. Who call you? I was saying almost some. Don't make a mistake to think that I will you for call hell. Don't ever. When you me, I will call you when you be an ante. I'm telling you, don't be quick to judge. When you trust us in me, she was hard at anything. Now you deal in him, you acquire him. Don't confuse somebody. 
Yeah, why na ye be before, but ye be, you know, the color, no, and yet the same. Ubiya, tia ye. Because when they started those evil teachings, they took it to another level. Who spray perfume, alcohol, and some gym? There was a woman of God in America. The woman was such a sweet woman. Perfumes all over her body all the time. And then one day went to her doctor, her GP. And the GP said, what happened to you? And I said, why? I said, because something has changed significantly about you. You don't take your bath anymore. You don't take care of yourself anymore. Excellence. Where is your excellence? Where did the excellence run to? And I want to use the opportunity. You better fix yourself. Who? Yeah? There are over 8.6 billion people on the face of the earth. Out of the 8.6 billion, 5.2 billion are women. It tells you that the women outnumber the men. In other words, our police our Sister, wa wunyare, heni wa wadi ekwe kire. I'm telling you, unti. By now, your your spirit and your power of excellence. By now, as a lady, as a daughter of Zion, by now you should be me kotenama me be fee. Many years ago, you too me were done so much. Many years ago, about before I got married, almost about twenty seven years ago, twenty six years ago, it two years. And then uh, this diplomat, Ghanaian diplomat, she's a girl. She invited me. She said, Kofi, come. Come and live in my house. You know, she's one of the few people I met a grand piano in her house. Every morning she plays the piano and all that. When I wake up in the morning and I go to greet him, Mommy, good morning. Good morning, my darling. Did you sleep well? Have you, do you want to take breakfast, dear? I was laying up there. Initially, I am saying, ah, good morning, my darling, dear. Abriwe wa pe miana. This is why the Bible said, "Be transformed by the renewing of your." Again, the baby has said, "When you are with you." Again, the baby has said, "Bread be yes so nice." Hi, sweet. Oh, hello, hello, dear. Bread, you okay, mommy? I started bumpire. Everybody, me kunu niye. Chimi kuna kuma mame. Everybody, me jangwa si ampire. Jangwa si ampire. Jangwa si ampire. When did no be a wedding and no be a kumete? Because all this while, not being seen the kunu niye. Tia the American because it's going to be the power of excellence. How can you be a Christian and lack excellence? Look at this church and you can tell an excellent leader is in charge. Oh! The power of excellence. <laughs> when you go to, the, uh, you know, I mean, they did travel to um, Dubai with Mama Chrissy. Mami, if you have any or your greetings to you, we love you. Thank you for your prayers. Myself and the rabbi, we appreciate your motherly love and leadership. Mama Chrissy took the day to Dubai. Bought a ticket, flew with Mama Christie and all that. When they went to Dubai, they called me, Kofi, you are missing, Kofi, you are missing. And then finally when they returned, Mama said, you should take, you should go to Dubai and take your wife again to Dubai. So I did. When we got to Dubai, got to Dubai International Airport, you see, from where I said, oh. Come in, me, come on, me, me, Dubai, no, no, my running on my down, what my dream of. Do you see from me now, you know, I'm coming with that Nasty imaginations. If I be in airport, me share na taxi, so no, we be answer, we be at home. 
We are besio, now we are tam, now we are besio, now we are tam, now we are besio. And I look at the cars are the same, the color the same, you know, and the drivers uniform. All drivers are in uniform, the same, you know. And then they go one after the other. If it is not a Lexus, it's a Toyota. If it is not a Toyota, it is a Mercedes. And then they are moving one by one, one by one. Tod, na makai kukumpi. Mithodin makai kukumpi. Shetrotra atete ye ye pachi wa magazine. Me shame me tiona mi rao. The two year the hotel. Lavina Hotel was in Diara, a core year, and no all that study chin here. Adam Fubi works with the Ghana High Commission, he's a pastor. He said, Come to Abu Dhabi, come, come and you know, come and preach. And uh, I said, My crutch, I'm a hazier be preachy. So come, come and look at Abu Dhabi. I know you are a builder, you will love the place. So we drove two hours to Abu Dhabi, and then we started looking at the system. You drew Abu Dhabi. You see, came did they say me and go? Me to me to me night. Ha! We share the leadership of the nation. Afi, Afi, your name na na mbuefu. The bar back to Dubai. You jina traffic light eh? Oh, ubi enchem kebi ama aso red nipa di aso red. You know, you know, you know, you know, 40, 50 here, 40, 50 here. Obiyankem, cycle, moto. You know, you know, you know, ka biya mai, obiyankem. You know, 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 Yet the bre 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 ni be dru kutuka. Plane ilande ya mi si from. Because he had the four ties strong, four ties, four ties strong. Kuna ni adi chuya bro wa beke ju asuno. Because he had the chuchin grow for ni ema. Namu wa me wa ju ya se se. Ha. The power of excellence. These Muslims, they have never prayed in tongues. They have never seen a revelation. They have never fallen under the power of God. They have never received communion before. Look at their level of excellence. But if you marry somebody's daughter, the power of excellence goes with you. Upgrading, adding value to the woman. Take her back to school to develop herself. You know, she doesn't know a particular delicacy, how to cook it. Enroll her in the catering school. Take her Wake up, you are a home builder. You are a family builder. That is who you are. You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. If salt loses its safe, where is your excellence? What do you mean? Hi, my darling. Hi, D. Hi, babe. Hi, yeah, papa. Hey, yeah, papa. Again, I say, again, I say, again, I say, yeah, 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 Baba. Excellence. Where is excellence? I like this particular scripture. Let all things be done decently and in order. When the word dwells in a person, sister, if somebody comes to your house, wants to go to your lavatory or your toilet, you will not say, excuse me, can I check? You won't say that. Excellence is already in your place. I'm telling you, I am sorry them come casting me. Rabbi, I see it. Let me say this to everybody that is in this place. 
by the time I come to your house, if I want to know your heart, that whether the, the word, the, you are full of the word, I will check two places. Your kitchen and your toilet. Your kitchen and your toilet. You don't need to go and sort the place out before. Excellence. I'm telling you. Let me tell all the wives. Marriages are failing. When you hear of other people's marriage divorce rumors, you better pray for yourself. No. Don't be bothering intermeddling yourself in people's affairs. Obedience. Copen Zoom Chancellor many years ago said, Fawudia Kunun Zoom a chain. Fawudan Zoom of your chain. Excellence. You don't know how to welcome a man. Hey, sister, the same ma. In other words, a mema is short. It's the truth. A mema is short. Papa, if I were need to form, any pair who are gonna have this year, eighty percent year mema. I'm telling you. To any abe matene ho, sorry I no pa. I don't know what you're saying. You don't mean can we? You don't mean you don't mean from morning till evening. No one can say how much. What is the essence of that relationship? I'm talking about the power of excellence. When you are you bring the best place and cutlery for them? Nambi am ye ukunu no. Who is who is a more important person in your house than me? So you change your mind. Change your mind. The best cutlery belongs to the man. To you, the woman. To both of you. What's some na ya kika no? And ya, ya biye him for 39. Ni a tuwe ye. Ni a sorry ya be fie. And come to, you know, stay in all that kind of tensious, nasty relationship. Teaching our children the wrong signals. I'm telling you. You see, that excellence is not there. How to cook, how to serve, how to receive a man, how to be a wife, how to be a husband, and all that. That excellence. And I, mean, I want to tell you, fix yourself is very important. Your hair, your facials, your nails, you know, yourself, your apparel and everything. It is important. But the woman that fears God <laughs> will be praised. A woman that fears God. All the body enhancement and sculpting, you know. No, I won't disdain it. Who is God? You know, you can go ahead and whatever, but I want to say this before I finish. There was an incident that happened from the radio. I met this guy, he's in government, and then he sent his driver to go and give something to his side chick. And then I asked, well, Why do you do that? You are married, why? So that woman makes me happy. She brings me joy. I said, what about your wife? She said, I, I don't want to disappoint you, man of God, but my wife is like doom. He's using a gun word for darkness. Doom. I said, really? He said, yes. So, and your house is in a mess. And your children do not even know the word of the Lord and the God that you serve. Do you realize that when these children go to secondary school, we lose 80% of them. They return back from school and they don't want to follow you to church again. 
80%, they are gone. But the Bible said from your childhood, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15, when you know the scriptures, it is able to make you wise through Christ Jesus unto wisdom. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. It is profitable for reproof, for training, for correction in righteousness that the man of God will be thoroughly furnished unto every good work. I will finish with this. The spirit and the power of excellence is eluding even the church. Now, mediocrity, anything goes. Look at the way that even the quality of our messages are depleting. When I became born again, a preacher can preach and I will sit there crying without anybody touching me. Now we are in church and, uh, you know, it is just like preaching. While the preacher is preaching, somebody is what's happening. Somebody is at the betting side. The preacher is preaching. Obi is on betting. Obi to me, they are on the side. No, what's up? You'll be from the other side. You know how you're looking hot this evening. And then the person also did you. The preacher is preaching. Now we can say, you are looking sexy yourself in the church. Where is the move and the presence of God when Francis Akwesiamuaku is ministering? You dare not! Into me, my dream, sister. Hey, my dream. Hey, my dream. Where was happy? Way? Where was happy? Way? Can I ask them what panty are you wearing? The preacher is preaching. The preacher is preaching. The preacher is preaching. I'm telling you, we will be entertaining ourselves in church and we will be wiling time until the king comes with his reward to give unto every man according to his works. Then we will know. That means, right? Conference is a way of us and say, and you're popular. Me, I mean, one grass and me buy you people, my Bible swa swa. And I want to thank God for a remnant who still love God and still love His word and still love the integrity and the veracity of His. I give God the glory because three subjects like the team like this, we don't like it. What's them? Awesome. Now let me declare this and then we are out. By the time the person has excellence in the person, now we come to the place of raw power. Power. Christo near to me mumu. Assembly to me. The Bible said in Romans chapter number one and verse number, uh, you know, 16. I am not ashamed of the word because the word is the power. Raw power. Scintillating power. Unmitigated power. Would you say paracetamol here, Juma? And then Yamiasa should do better. Would you say Yamiasa? I go to a place and I say, ye ma wup ma mibi a wanna chire me kase nyansa. As I was growing up, she is still alive. Train me, kase nyansa. She's never been to school. She writes everything, she scripts it in chief. A for she a for she back and front, back and front. And then he gives it to me. I take it home for like two weeks, go and memorize it, and then I come and then she takes the papers. And then I will recite everything that is on the paper. And she makes, you know, words of wisdom with and poetry with the scriptures. And then everything is in trees. So she takes the paper and then I stand before her. And then I'm reciting everything back. Because we had been to Sunday school, saw drill and all those kind of things had helped and nurtured us. Rabbi, you, and yes, I thank God for people like you who are transgenerational, who can think that that building sitting there is not for showmanship. 
Children's ministry, any preacher who does not throw money to children's ministry is visionless. Your vision is blurred and does not go far. Because these children is at the place where we have to be pushing the real gospel. Your children come to church and they are not here to play around, receive candies and go home. No. This is the place for foundation. You know, from your childhood, you know the scriptures. We are going to build up the children in here. And no if even if somebody wants to molest your baby, that training can boldly ah you are crossing your line. You are crossing your line. When our children were kids, our daughter, I love you, baby. They grew up with that. Mommy kissing your head, daddy kissing your head. They grew up with that. So by the time you go up and you go to secondary school and somebody comes a hot chick, me love ya. Me love ya. As I say, when you say, touch line for me be about space. Raw power. My time will not allow me. Raw power. The Bible said whilst he was teaching on a particular day, the power of God was present to heal. God was there. The moment we are preaching and Akayo is dominant, there is no spirituality. The Bible said you started in the spirit. You have ended up in the flesh. Who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? Why? Why? Who have bewitched you? We didn't come here because when your mother is sick, you want us to come and visit you. You didn't come to this church because when uh, you know you are celebrating your party, you want yao for ni yao for to buy you a cake and we cut the cake. The reason why you are here is because you are here to work on your salvation with fear and with trembling. As a matter of fact, you are not even here because of visa. You are not here because of husband. You are not here because you want a wife or something. You are here to work on your salvation. So when we come in here and we are disseminating the word. Don't sit down there rejecting the word of the Lord in your heart. Don't. And they are not here. Yeah, yeah, woman. After we do all this, you could cheer. Now, for your journey about Robert, you will not believe. You know, the day will hold one. Mama, 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 we are in your mini pa. Die in your mini pa. Mama, we are in your mini pa. They say, hey, 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 mama. How day? What's the mommy draws a cocaine baby? Mommy draws a cocaine baby. So draws a cocaine. I say me compile, but me draws a cocaine baby. Now me me catch you and say, this one is so bad, could you hear me? Sister D, I'm not joking. Mommy draws a cocaine baby. Me and they are back, will be addressed on God. Chennai Beba will be addressed on God. Quesieda Beba will be addressed on God. Who has saw the papa move? Who free her? A sack on the numb and pie bomb pie bomb. Sister, come on. Who be free in pie bomb? I mean, such an august church. I am not the young near ya with a woe. Who tear? I will yell, Unquaji and Wedjuma. Obi abba opeso be waro so for she na won so ya za o se nya abotere oh doctors of that on tea as here and then na be so for she no anya ba me ba ko catch me o sa pe ma o se papa o can we am into you this is my last chance ka she am into e na zania to as well yeah it 
Oma ware. Nanti mwuse bibi miya omu. But omu nti mi mekan jire me. Ti omu ya omu bani ya ya. Namuse peja ansa miya mampa ya. Nyami tinegya so. Yesu we kumkum ne nim. Namuse nyama sem. Fame hon. Oh yeah. We have, we have, we have people who are watching us right now. Came to Alabasta. Said, you know, we want to marry. I, I was in the ministration. Apostle appear, came into the service. Look at the, you know, he said, this relationship will not work. Doesn't know them from anywhere. Prophet Akonai came on a different service. Prophesied to the same person. Same revelation. And we are trying to tell them, reconsider this thing because it's for your own interest. They feel like a how much. So they move it to another church and go and have their way. Yeah, way now we are like children in a swaddling cloth. It's because in a way you can twist your spine and you can be paralyzed. And so uma meche chile wushen to menim. Nyamiya sam na meka waza mru. Uma meche chile wushen to menim. Umu jai mu ube su uma mi muawu. Sometimes the word of God constrains us. It will constrain you and you will want to have your way but the word will not allow you to have your way. Let me prove it to you. Job chapter number Job chapter number 32 verse number 18. The Bible said and Samuel Shemima yeah, <laughs> I am full of matter. The spirit Within me, it constrains me. And then I do home name show. And then I home name show. Gentlemen, come down. Come down. You guys will wait for another day. Hold on. So, Pastor Rich, stand here. The word of God is wisdom. The, the word of God is phenomenal thinking. Go to the Greeks. See the bright minds. I want to thank God for all the fathers that Ghana has and all the mothers. And here I stand to, you know, because this continent is blessed with some very fine people. I don't care how you may see them. Sometimes you mention somebody's name and say, oh, that man, I don't like him. So I don't want to mention name. But you can see some very wise men, ideas. The word of God is wisdom. I'm telling you. Sister Adaboni woho to tu echi ye. Unye bibi afabi tu baby. Daboni woho. I'm telling you. The bai jume ni mo ayaba abe unu we di kanfu be bredi kano. And here maybe one more woman find to two ye. The one who will be one my dream and every year, and I'm I'm telling you, many leaders have died without succession plans. I'm not, Papa, I'm not talking about succession plan on paper. Who. Oh, I'm not joking. Reverend Gabriel and Sandro, some of our colleagues have died and their churches have collapsed. So for mommy, this is it. Yeah. Look at the ministry is not easy. And sana ye be ya sorry amana ye say no. Me nyame ya be mu. Nyame an kawa kuma wonti me metena. In sort Ghana hankwanda Accra only has 2 million registered churches. And you and I know that the unregistered are more than the registered. Come on and register you know no need time for for far we be a lawyer for I will need time. The woman register, you know, a dozen. The woman register. A crowd only two million. Two million. Two million churches. A crowd only. Now, me and Kawa come out to me back. The word of God is wisdom. We were in a funeral for one of our colleagues. I sat down and I was in tears. 
I was not crying for that friend who was dead. I was crying for some of the errors after laboring so many years. That goes to the grave. Solid structures. Solid structures is wisdom. I'm telling you, certain opportunities that you have received. I said the word of God is wisdom. Shen one say opportunity no when you know. That be a ye kasache. Yef she ye be careful. Word of God is wisdom. I'm telling you. So teach me to number my days that I will apply my heart unto wisdom. The days of you are looking for a, a young rich man to come and marry you and take care of your economic problems are over because now these guys are also looking for women who are coming to the table with something. Okay, I'm done. Let me say this and then I am going to go into the ministration briefly. If the only thing you come to the table with is pleasure, then I will submit to you that even animals have that potency. Dogs, cats, cow, they too. They also have the potency of pleasure. What else do you have to offer as a woman? What else? There is somebody watching us online. You are a daughter of this house, but you are in the United Kingdom right now. The Holy Spirit is speaking to me prophetically. In three days, you are about to make a major decision of your life. You are watching online. The Holy Spirit is speaking to me prophetically to tell you. 11.15 tonight, he will visit you. The decision he will tell you will not be pleasurable to your mind. But the Lord is telling me, go by that decision. In three days, you have to make a major decision of your life. You are, you are a professional. You, are a prof you have your own profession. And the Spirit of God is speaking to me. In three days, you must make a major decision of your life. 11.15 tonight, the Lord will visit you and show you, but what he will show you is not what you want to hear. But the Lord is telling me, go by that, and he will help you. I spoke to that person. There is a frimpo in this house. Can you come and wait for me on this chair? Immediately I finish, I will talk to you. There is a frimpo in this house. Frimpo in this house. Then we go home. Frimpong can with the I am done. I won't repeat it. So if I don't meet you here, case closed. And then we are done. Now, Pastor Rich has wisdom. Pastor Paul, that is bright, astute, phenomenal thinking. And then you are the power of excellence. You, you are raw power. Yami asem. It is a renee. Me said, Tia. Said, yes, no, no, no. It splashes all over the place. Sanu nyami asem, Tia. Get a seat, gentlemen. And I want us to. That's a, that, that, that song is so powerful. Order my steps in your word, dear Lord. Lead me, guide me every day. Send your father, father I, I pray, all of my, my steps, steps in your word. Please, please, all the my steps. Can you stand in to your, your feet? Word. Wherever you are, I want you to put your two hands on your heart. All the my steps, two hands on your heart. Your word, dear put your two hands on your heart. Father, I pray all the masters in your word. Please all the masters in your word. This is a revival, a 
stirring, bringing us back in alignment with the love for the word of the Lord. We wake up in the morning, Father, draw us back to yourself. Draw me closer to yourself. I want to know you more, more and more and more. Reveal yourself to me. Take me deeper in your word. The word is alive. The word is yes and amen. The word is spirit and life. Stir me up again. Draw me to yourself. Bring me in alignment to the obedience of your word. Put your two hands on your heart and begin to talk to the Father right now. Close your eyes everywhere. Online, you are all part of this. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. In the name of Jesus.